Today, I'm going to be piercing my ears. Isolation things. I bought these little ear piercing little guns, I guess. They're like single use things you like clamp your ear in and then you just click it in. And I've watched a couple of videos and it just seems pretty simple. I have seen quite a few go wrong though. <laughs> so let's hope that's not going to be one of these. Because since you're using obviously a machine, like things can get caught in there and you know the deal. But I just thought, why not? And I've just run out of things to do. And I actually am going to do my seconds today. A little bit of a back story, I guess, just a quick one. I have had my seconds done before, but I got them done in like a really dodgy place. And I got them done professionally. But um, they just got really infected and it was just really bad that I like literally could not leave them in. Yeah, I'm going to be piercing over like the scar. So I don't know if it's going to hurt more or the same. I guess I'm just going to have to see. I'm just going to draw a dot anyway, just so I know where I'm going. And this, I literally bought these off eBay. They were like $4 each maybe. And they're single use. So, and then they come with like these alcohol swabs, which is really good. I've got a mirror down here, by the way. I'm just literally trying to see if they're the same or not but i also don't think my ears are the same i wasn't nervous and now i'm kind of fucking nervous the i'm not scared about the pain like i know it's gonna like obviously hurt because you're stabbing something through your skin it's just the fact that it could get stuck which i'm concerned about and i feel like it's gonna happen <laughs> but i did see some girl like literally break it in half and then she managed to get it off but i don't really want to have to do that oh this is getting real now sick sorry my hands are shaking that's not good. <laughs> okay, so I am pretty sure you obviously put your lobe in there, you clamp it, and then you click that in. There is already jewellery in there, which kind of makes me a little bit nervous. We're just going to have to do it. Okay, ready? Set. We're in. It's in. I just can't. I'm not too sure how to get it off. So the front is like coming off. But I don't know how to get the back off. That was nowhere near as bad. Like what the fuck? Okay. I might have to do what that girl did. I don't want to pull it because it might pull the earring out and I can't see what it's stuck on. Yeah, that's sick. Okay, so the front is off. Oh, I just pushed it on further. Okay, <laughs> um, back, got it off. I didn't actually, I couldn't do it. So I had to get my sister to do it for me. It's actually really cute. Definitely did not hurt anywhere near as much as I thought it was going to. I think, yeah, it's just all in your mind. But I think the good thing is, is that if you think it's going to hurt a lot and then when you do it and it hurts a lot less, then that's better than obviously like going into it thinking that it's not going to hurt at all. And then you come out in a lot of pain. That's just what I like to do anyway. So we've just got another, a clean alcohol swab, and then we're gonna do it again. Oh, so once you've pierced it, you have to take off this bit and then you push the earring up. Okay, right, we're gonna try that this time. Right, we've got her in, and then we're just going to push it until we hear like a lot of pain. Oh, okay, that definitely hurt more. Okay, a oh, lot. That one. 
one definitely hurt a lot more because I knew what the pain was and then I was expecting it not to hurt. Like I just said, break off the front again. Ouch. <sighs> Sick. Did it. Ah, uh, yeah. Um, I've also got some warm, well it was warm, some like salty water and then a q-tip and I'm just going to put this on my ears to like avoid having any infections. My thoughts on these like single use piercing guns, they work and they do the job but I feel like you always kind of will need somebody else's assistance. I obviously did the first one wrong, I think, but yeah, they're not the easiest thing to use. The actual piercing is really easy if you're not a pussy. <laughs> Getting the back off and everything is really fiddly and it can be quite painful, but like apart from that, I actually will definitely be using these over like getting piercings professionally done because it's just, when you think about it, I'm doing exactly the same as what they're doing. Just obviously in my bedroom and probably not as sterile. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Sorry for not posting, but I haven't actually been doing anything with my time. But if you want anything filmed, then let me know because it would be very helpful in this time. Subscribe if you want and I will see you in the next video, hopefully. Stay safe, stay healthy. Wash your hands. <laughs> Thank you.